London, England for Wimbledon 2022. And if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know that we've been trying to blend a lot of travel, sport, and technology together because we actually just came back from Formula One about a week and a half ago. So I'm really excited for you guys to check out the series. And we're actually here with Oppo, who is a title sponsor of Wimbledon. In this video, we're going to be showcasing the photo capabilities on the flagship Oppo Find X5 Pro and talking about all the features while also capturing pictures around London and at the actual tournament because we're going to be heading off to the fourth round in just a couple days. So stay tuned, but let's go ahead and grab some coffee first because it's been a really long month of travel. So we started out the day in Soho exploring the area and we continued on walking just to get a feel for the city and area around our hotel. I'm usually someone who doesn't really like to walk around at all, but when I'm traveling I find the best way to explore is just going from block to block and seeing where it takes you. One of my favorite things about travel is exploring the architecture around each region and seeing the characteristics and attention to detail of it along with the history. Mayfair was definitely an area that stood out to me because of the clean streets, architecture, fashion and great shopping. It was a great area to walk around and really close to the nice coffee shops in Soho. Aside from capturing all the content possible, it's also very important when traveling to meet up with any friends who live around the area that you don't really get to see that often. So after checking out the designer outlets and the Wimbledon pop-up in the Ralph Lauren store, we headed over to a local pub to try some traditional English pub food. We took the opportunity to catch up with Gadgets Boy, talk about cars, fashion, as well as some travel coming up. But it was also great to get some tips about the city from a local. Next up, we got to the London Underground and headed to Trafalgar Square to capture the city and landmarks on the Oppo Find X5 Pro. So one of my favorite things of traveling in general is just being able to see the architecture and there's no better place to go to than Europe. Whether it's Barcelona, Italy, and now London, we can take a look at all the buildings around us and have great photo opportunities to be able to test out the cameras on the Find X5 Pro. For starters, it's got a 50 megapixel main sensor with an f1.7 aperture and dual 5-axis OIS stabilization. On top of that, there's also a 50 megapixel ultra-wide camera that gets you a 110 degree field of view and an f2.2 aperture. You obviously don't want to take all of your pictures in 50 megapixels resolution because the file size are massive, but being able to crop in and reframe your photo is great. And in a very bright day, dynamic range is very important. The third camera is a 13 megapixel telephoto, which is something that we're going to be testing in Wimbledon. Oppo has actually gone a few different approaches when it comes to that zoom camera. They've done periscope lenses in the past, but in this case, you do have a 2x 13 megapixel sensor that is able to let us zoom into the cord and just get those details. The overall imaging processing system is powered by the Marisilicon X NPU, which is a dedicated image processor that is six nanometers and is specifically going to give you that great low light performance that Oppo has been working on for many years now. If you guys remember our video back in Milan, Italy in 2018, that is where we first saw the night photo in action and just like walking around and capturing images of like architecture and everything, we're going to be putting that to the test in this trip as well. Just looking around us right now, there are opportunities to take wide-angle photos as well as telephoto photos because there are so many different landmarks. The Big Ben is all the way down there and having like the foreground and everything just adds another layer of dimension to it as you kind of see it just sitting in the back. It's always cool to have three different cameras to be able to pick from because we can use the ultra wide just to capture everything. But as you can see, it's a very crowded area. So we kind of switch between the regular camera and also go into the telephoto mode just to be able to get the details and to have that full resolution instead of having to zoom in on a main camera photo. In the past, low light images took quite a few seconds. You would have to hold up your phone, try to keep it steady while it captures multiple exposures. But instead with the Marisilicon X NPU, it is actually instant. And as soon as I walked over and took a photo, it was able to adjust that exposure accordingly. And it does that by giving you up to 20 stops of dynamic range. Being the third trip in three weeks, it was definitely a tiring first day to do 30,000 steps. So we went back, rested up and got ready for a big day in Wimbledon. After a quick bite in the morning, we flagged down a classic London cab, also known as Hackney Carriage, to get us to the tennis club. 
It was about a 40 minute drive, so in order to pass the time, I caught up with the Wimbledon standings and the matches from the day before, and the Opal Fine X5 Pro has an incredible 1440 by 3216 6.7 inch AMOLED display featuring 120Hz refresh rate and up to 1300 nits of brightness. So on a sunny day, if you want to watch videos outside, the screen is totally capable of displaying it beautifully. So we've arrived at Wimbledon for the fourth round and I'm really excited to walk around, check out the food, the different activities. It is also just a beautiful day. You can see the grass court behind me here. There's so much going around all over the place and behind us, there's the center court. There's two fourth round men's singles matches that we're watching today, including the one with Nick Kyrgios and also Nadal in the evening. And so I'm really excited to check that out because I've actually never watched live tennis before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get some food. I literally haven't eaten anything today. So whenever we're traveling and attending some of these events, whether it's like Formula One or Wimbledon in this case, you gotta try some of the signatures. And I've heard great things about the food at Wimbledon. So one thing that I'm really excited to try out is the strawberries and cream, which I've heard a lot about. And there's signs everywhere kind of explaining what it is. And that is strawberries that have been picked the same day within one and a half kilometers away of Wimbledon. These are definitely worth trying. Very sweet, soft. The cream doesn't make it like too sweet. I thought it'd be like condensed milk for some reason but it was definitely worth it, and we'll definitely be having this a few more times. We grabbed some pizza, some hot dogs. We also saw everyone walking around with a Pimm's cup, so we had to try that as well, and it was amazing and really refreshing for a hot and sunny day. Now that we've had a bite to eat, it was time to find our seats and settle in because it's almost time for the first match of the day at center court. So now we're sat down in center court and we're gonna be testing out the camera on the Opal Fine X5 Pro that we talked about earlier in this video. The game's about to start, so look out for some of the samples right after this. What is so amazing about tennis is the tradition between the spectators. Everyone stays so quiet and just seeing everyone focusing on the match and seeing that stage in front of you was an incredible atmosphere. Coming from Formula One the week prior, it was a huge change of pace. Not only did we capture some incredible action and slow motion video on the Opal Fine X5 Pro, but we also had some time just to take in the match and experience Wimbledon live in person for the first time. It was great to watch Kyrgios play in the round of 16, but the match that I was really excited to watch was Rafael Nadal, which was happening in the evening. Him along with Federer is someone who I've watched on TV as a kid growing up, and they're just the greats of the era. So being able to see the best players, even towards the later parts of their careers, was incredible. And just watching good players compared to the great was unbelievable. After an eventful week in the city, we wanted a little change of pace, so Damien and I rented a car and drove out to the southern coast of England. We stopped in another countryside pub for a quick bite, and it's just nice to see an area that isn't really filled with too many tourists. It was definitely a long drive out there, but absolutely worth it. And it was also interesting to see that we had to take a bit of a ferry to get to that final destination, which I didn't know about before. It was a bit of a walk before we got to the cliffs, but as soon as we got there, it was time to capture as much content as possible while taking it all in. enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me on our trip in London and I hope you guys enjoyed this travel series and also a huge thanks to the team for putting together this great video because it is definitely a huge logistical challenge. We got a little bit of everything on this trip. We went 30,000 steps in a day around the city. We also went out to the cliffs on a three hour road trip but most importantly being able to attend the 100th center court anniversary of Wimbledon 
just makes this whole job a lot of fun and at the same time we're checking out some cutting edge technology along with that. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and I'll see you all in the next video.